Welcome to Health Pop, your look at top health stories. Today, new help for infertile men, germ-filled paper towels, and follow your nose to tuberculosis. First up, it's alive, it's alive! Sperm. For the first time, researchers have managed to grow viable sperm in the lab outside a man's body. Granted, they grew mouse sperm, but they feel confident that the technique can be applied to human sperm too. Apparently, the toughest part is tricking the cells that form sperm into believing that they're inside the body. This problem was solved with mice by surrounding the cells with a special compound called agar jelly, probably the least selling Smucker's variety, though that technique hasn't worked with human cells. Okay, I'm a big germaphobe, so if you're anything like me, you're not gonna like this. It's no secret that there are germs in the public restroom, but you know, when you're all done doing your business and you wash your hands, you dry them off on some nice clean paper towel and you use that to, you know, open the door so you don't get your hands dirty, you're germ free and good to go, right? Wrong. Those pristine sheets of clean are actually, well, dirty. Researchers in Canada tested six brands of commercial paper towels and they found bacteria in all of them. Gross, yes. Dangerous, probably not. Scientists say only people with weakened immune systems are at risk. But if that describes you, you better keep an eye out. The bacteria found on paper towels has been known to cause food poisoning and various eye, lung, and blood infections. Next up, oh, hold on a second. Honey! Honey, you making tuberculosis turkey again? What? You, you, you just heating up leftovers? Okay, because the, the nose, the nose was going off again. And scene. <sighs> what you just saw was a simulation, but it could be a real life scenario sooner than you think. Scientists in India are using what they call an electronic nose to sniff out tuberculosis. Similar to the technology used in a breathalyzer test, this device detects biomarkers in the breath that signal TB. The electronic nose is cheaper and faster than other TB tests, and it could potentially save hundreds of thousands of lives in developing countries where the disease still kills as many people as HIV AIDS each year. And finally, we couldn't let you go without showing you some cute little teeny little tiny little babies. These twins were born in two different years. Beckett Hummony was born in Minneapolis at 6.40 p.m. on December 31st. His sister Freya was delivered on January 1st at 12.26 a.m. The same thing happened in Buffalo and in Tampa. Happy New Year, everybody. That's your health pop. I'm Nick Dietz, CBSNews.com. And scene.